Hi guys and welcome back, it's Frosty here with more Final Cut Pro X tips and tricks. Um, so the magnetic timeline is something that is difficult for quite a lot of people to get their heads around. Uh, I do got to stress, uh, this tips and trick I've got to show you is more of a way to use it, use Final Cut Pro X as a you know Final Cut Pro 7 or Premiere Pro timeline. Um, I do really highly recommend learning how to use the magnetic timeline, how it was designed to be used because it just will really improve your editing and speed up uh, your editing times tenfold. But if you really do want to treat Final Cut Pro X as an old fashioned timeline, then this is probably the easiest way to go about doing it. So we've got my timeline here. These are just some clips that I've dragged from a uh, from a wedding onto a timeline. And for example, oh, I just want to delete that clip, bang, but it moves all the other clips backwards, which you just wouldn't be used to if you're still new to the magnetic timeline. Now, here's what I would do if you really want to treat it like an old style timeline. I'll just delete all those. Now, you could just add a gap, which is basically a see-through clip. Um, or you can just come to the generators tab, so click on generators, bring up a custom color, which is black, set your timeline, and then just drag that out to however long your clip is going to be. So then you can basically just start stacking clips on top, just like you normally would uh, in Final Cut Pro 7 or Premiere Pro. And then whenever you delete a clip, it's not gonna shift anything back. Um, but again, I do stress to learn the magnetic timeline as it was designed because yeah, it's incredible and Apple really, really thought about what they were doing when they, when they made it. But yeah, that's just a quick tip and trick for you.